My father grew up in Berlin. My mother grew up in NATO. Both my parents met in South Korea. I consider myself to have grown up in many places. Germany, India, and now the United States. A green card brought me here and I speak Mandarin Chinese. To put it simply, I'm mixed, and I am an immigrant, as are lots of Americans. And when people ask me if I enjoy living here, I always say I do. I do because America is one of the most diverse places on earth, and I find that comforting. Of course, diversity comes with consequences. Racism, violence, stereotypes, middle school students calling me a Nazi. But at its core lies culture, contribution, and community. And because I believe I've had good opportunities in my life, which I'm very grateful for, my experience has been a good one. But I would still like to talk about the invisible barriers between us that we can mend. Now, I am a high school student, and I don't have any authority over this topic, except for my own willpower. And you, no matter where you live, have that same willpower. Change begins in the grassroots, you and me. For some background, with two of my good friends, one Mexican, the other African-American, I founded a writing club at my school, and what we have in common has absolutely nothing to do with where we are from. It is simply storytelling. And believe it or not, it is possible for a group of unfamiliar teenagers of all backgrounds and all ages to come together in a classroom after school and be vulnerable. For instance, during one of our meetings, our task was to write about our fears, just raw fears about life, and we had people talk about panic attacks, depression, sexual assault, fitting in, just things I personally wasn't expecting them or me to feel comfortable sharing. This experience led me to one conclusion. People want their culture acknowledged, but the ability to guide their own path. So get to know people. Ask about their joys, their experiences, their passions, all the things that will allow you to learn about a different place, and all the things that have absolutely nothing to do with where they're from. Ask about their fears and you might discover that you're afraid of the same things. And if you are an immigrant, share your story. If nobody listens, share it anyways because somebody needs it. On that note, I would like to share a slam poem that I wrote, inspired by a Mexican immigrant whom I interviewed about the American dream. Because you see, I am more than my identity too. For instance, my dream is to write. I am not American. I am also hardworking, curious, and kind, and I know that I am hardworking, curious, and kind. But I am not American. Then the dreamers, they come from the distant lands under the same sky. They too are hardworking, curious, and kind. And they wonder if only I could be American. Because America's big house isn't cola, yes, I call it cola, and voting matches in a place better than the place from which they arrive, but even the sun can shine too bright and too long, and then the land is dry. And if the sun was the immigrants, the privileged immigrants who said, give me liberty or give me death, then the land was the land where the black men stood and chained and silenced at the exact same time. If this is the land where the black men must cry, what to the slave is the 4th of July? And then he dies with a knee to his neck. Literally. Why would you ever, ever want to be American? And I warn the immigrants, they will hear your accent, not your words. They will speak you in high school Spanish when you speak English is fine. And when you admire that in the English language, there's only one word. You. And this you means everyone equal. Here, a pale man must say, I don't even speak Mandarin just to feel American. And if a brown man comes with a number plastered on his forehead and a woman is shamed for working and then becoming a mother, then I am not American. My mother, Indian and bright, she married a German and she told me, always say you're German because Germans have it good, but I refuse to deny who I am and the beauty of my tongue because I know I have great friends who embrace the places from which I come. Not everyone has great friends. I grew up protected, I know I did, because I can never understand the people who like to fight when I don't realize that they don't have a choice to say me that whites say that racism is no longer a lie. In America, democracy is a joke. 
but at least in America democracy is a word, but at least in America the immigrant can say I was welcome to you of an immigration wasn't a bad word, but at least in America we can live as illegals, but at least in America we can practice our faith, but at least in America we don't settle for less. Because we do not give up when the ideal is not reached. We still smile at our neighbors. We still smile without money in our banks. And we still smile when they don't call us American. Because the American dream comes from within ourselves. And if we can smile at a Mexican woman, raised in a poor village, highly educated. And if we can smile when she smiles as a cleaner in the USA. And if we can smile when she marries a Muslim man. And if we can smell when she has children, two seeds in a womb who are not a burden to her life because at 58 she can return to college and get a degree just fine. If this woman can tell her younger self, well done, then maybe I am American.